Indians hate spending money. We're known for being business people, for being extremely frugal and not wanting to part with that hard-earned cash. However, that being said, there are some things in my 27 years on this earth that I think are definitely worth spending money on. Make sure you stick around to number one because you don't want to miss it. At number seven, we have organic food. Now, I've never really understood organic food. I've been to a supermarket, I've seen the equivalent of organic food, but the only thing I've noticed is that it costs a pound more. And then I've thought, why would I buy these organic tomatoes when I can buy the ones that are cheaper. So my aunt and uncle started a business in Leicester where they have an electric milk float and they deliver organic fruit and vegetables all around their area. And every time we go to the house, we get given this big box of organic fruit and vegetables. That box of fruit and vegetables tastes absolutely amazing. Organic food is made without pesticides, without man-made fertilizers, without all of those other chemicals that are used in the manufacturing process. Using this stuff, normal fruit and veg is mass produced so quickly, which is why they can bring the price right down. Organic food just tastes nicer. I found, especially tomatoes, oranges and peppers taste so much sweeter and juicier. Number six is a kitchen appliance. Now I love gadgets and I have loads of unnecessary kitchen appliances. I've got a KitchenAid, which is amazing, but unnecessary. I've got a Velvetizer, which melts chocolate and milk and makes hot chocolate, which is amazing, but unnecessary. And then I've got a coffee machine, which is amazing. And I think is definitely worth spending money on. So broadly, you've got a choice between a bean machine and a pod machine. Bean machines produce coffee that I think tastes nicer. You're using actual beans to make actual coffee. And then you've got pod machines. Pod machines are way more convenient. We've got the Nespresso Creatista. And honestly, having this coffee machine and actually paying for it means that I can have a coffee in about 30 to 40 seconds. Not only that, is that it's got a milk wand attached to it so I can pretend that my barista making amazing latte art. I can use all different kinds of milks with it and make something comparable to what I'd get if I went to a coffee shop. And I think that's the difference for me. Spending the money and buying this machine that's an investment in itself has saved me three or four pounds every time I go to a coffee shop because I just don't want it anymore. I can produce something at home that's just as good as that, so I've definitely saved money in the long term. Number five ties into this a bit because it's another kitchen gadget. It is a super high speed blender. Now I know what you're thinking. I've used blenders my whole life. What is so special about a high speed blender? I'll tell you what's special about it. It can make something that tastes okay, taste amazing. A protein shake in a high speed blender tastes like a milkshake. I used to have one of those classic Breville blenders that everyone had that blends that lovely long pot and you can take that with you and that's convenient and that's cool. But then I saw an offer for this Nutri Ninja 1000 watts. Now I don't know how many watts are needed to blend something so that is arbitrary that number. However, 1000 sounds like a lot of watts. This 1000 watt blender whips things up so fast it can turn peanuts into peanut butter, literally peanuts into peanut butter. It can turn a protein shake into a milkshake. It can smash fruit into an amazing tasting smoothie. The speed of things turning just makes it taste better with no added calories, definitely worth paying for. Next up, as we count down to number four, we are moving rooms to the bedroom. Honorary mention for mattress, I think mattresses are important, but mattresses can quite often feel similar. What I think makes more of a difference is having a really good duvet. When you get married, you get absolutely tons of vouchers, especially John Lewis vouchers that you get given as gifts. And we put these together and we bought this crazy duvet. It's this 13.5 TOG, so that's a super thick duck feather and down duvet. So made with these really light feathers that don't feel hot and heavy, but are super comfy and nice. It turns your bedroom into feeling like a really expensive hotel room, and you actually look forward to getting into bed. However, if you do get this one, bear in mind that it becomes difficult to then get out of bed in the morning. We're down to our top three. Stick around for number one. At number three, we have Apple AirTag. Now, Apple AirTags aren't 
aren't a new thing. They've been around for a little while now. However, if you have not used one before and you do have an iPhone, it's definitely worth the investment. I'm one of these people who loses everything. Every other day I lose my keys and the days in between that, I'm losing my wallet. And having an AirTag means that I can track exactly where these things are. Before AirTags, there was a company called Tile, which literally just does these little tracking devices. And I had a Tile device, but I found Tile to be useless. Over half of the time, my phone even wouldn't even register where it was. And if something is lost and your phone's not registering it, then what's the point of even having that Tile on in the first place? So even before the AirTag, I just got rid of it because it wasn't working. Now I've got an AirTag, even if I lose my wallet in my own home, I can use the iPhone to work out exactly where it is. That, for someone like me who loves to lose things, makes a huge difference. The other thing about AirTags is that they're so cheap. To stick a $30 AirTag inside the case of a $1,000 laptop just makes sense to me. Definitely worth paying for. At number two, we have the smart washing machine. Now I know what you're thinking, why do I need a smart washing machine? I'll tell you why. It's because for years we've been held hostage by our washing machines. We forget about them and clothes end up soggy or we can't work out the timer and the timer's running on too long. You can only time it for three, six or nine hours and you've got to guess when it's going to finish. It's an absolute mess. The smart washing machine fixes all of these things because it does three cool things in particular. Number one, if you've already started a load of washing but you've forgotten to add something, you can pause it in the middle of the cycle and press a button and add another item. Why have we only been able to do this now? Number two, instead of delaying the start time, you can set an end time. You connect it to a mobile app and you can say, I would like this machine load to finish by 6 p.m because that's when I'm home from work. So instead of trying to guess when it's gonna start and how long it's gonna take, the washing machine calculates it, it weighs the washing, works out how long it needs to do, works out when it needs to start, and just does it like a washing machine should. And finally, you can start it remotely. So if you don't know what time you're going to finish, you can go onto the app, have already loaded the washing, and from wherever you are, press start so it's ready to unload when you get home. They're not that expensive compared to a normal washing machine, so definitely worth the money. Before we hit number one, I've got a new channel, an offshoot channel about everything medical. So if you're a medical student or a doctor, make sure you check that channel out. I will link it in the video description. Now for number one, we have a premium gym membership. And I'm telling you, if you have not been to a premium gym or been a member of one, it's definitely worth the money. There are three kinds of people. One who doesn't have a gym membership, one who has a cheap gym membership to something like The Gym or Pure Gym, and the third person who has a premium membership. Now consider this, you can get a premium membership for around 70 to 80 pounds a month, which I understand is a lot of money. However, if you went out for dinner, you could easily spend 40 pounds, $50 on dinner, and for two of you, you could spend $100. That's your whole month's gym membership paid for. Having a gym that has a swimming pool, does really good classes, has a sauna and a steam room actually makes you want to go. So if you've ever struggled with fitness, struggled with motivation, it really could be that key difference. And I think we really do need to spend more time thinking about ourselves, thinking about our mental well-being and our health and investing in that by paying for these things. This isn't sponsored, I'm not trying to sell you anything, but just try it out. I personally think it's definitely worth paying for. If you enjoyed this video and like list type videos, check out this one about the 10 craziest medical inventions that actually exist. Take care and I'll see you next week. Right. Just...